The eye is one of the most important human sensory organ. With such a diverse animal kingdom filled with many fascinating creatures, it is hard not to wonder whether other organisms see the world the same way we do. In this video, we will be investigating the eye and vision of the cow, owl, and dragonfly. We are hoping to shed light on their various adaptations and unique vision, so as to compare them to human vision. This provides an insightful way of understanding vision in its true sense. Though the ocular structure of a cow is very similar to that of humans, they possess a very different vision of the world than us. As shown through the diagram, cows possess an extra layer called the tapetum lucidum located behind the retina. This layer will bounce light back through the retina to increase the quantity of light received and hence improve vision in low light environments. The photoreceptors on the retina of a cow is also specialized to view colors of long wavelengths such as red, orange and yellow. Furthermore, the location of the eyes to the side of the head instead of the front provides them with an almost panoramic view of the view. Despite having minimal binocular vision, its monocular vision around the remaining field of views provides the cow with alertness of its surrounding environment. Imagine having panoramic view all the time. The owl, known for the best night vision in any bird, has surprisingly large eyes. Its forward-facing eyes account for its wide range of binocular vision. The owl's eye is not shaped like a sphere, but rather a tube, and is fixed within a bony structure called the sclerotic ring, so it cannot be moved around. To us mere humans, this might pose a major problem. However, the amazing bird has a very good way around it. The owl can rotate its head 270 degrees in both directions. The owl has an abundance of rod-like photoreceptors on its retina, which allow it to be very sensitive to light and movement. However, the very limited amount of cones in its eyes result in a lack of color vision, also known as monochrome vision. Dragonflies have a pair of large compound eyes which is made up of the metidia, a visual unit consisting of a lens system and light sensitive cells that covers most of its head. A large dragonfly may have up to 30,000 metidia in each compound eye, the highest of all insects. It is believed that the insect's compound eyes are not as high resolution as vertebrae eyes. However, the dragonfly's visual system is extremely sensitive to movement and points in almost all directions, giving it a 360 degree visual field. Dragonflies can not only see color, the eyes are also sensitive to ultraviolet and polarized light. The flicker-free fusion frequency of a human vision is 15 to 20 times a second, while for a dragonfly, it's over 300 hertz or 300 images per second, the highest among all insects. To put it into perspective, they would see movies as a slideshow of what it really is. As a human, we possess an incredible visual system that gave us the ability to see our world in 3D. Our eyes, which are separated by a small distance from one another, gave us a sense of depth perception and distance and dimensional characteristics of an object. The remarkable ability to use both the eyes together to produce a single unified image as interpreted by the brain is known as binocular vision. From an evolutionary perspective, vision is significantly influenced by lifestyle. Humans are unable to detect UV light, but animals such as oil possess UV vision. The UV sensitivity can be advantages for courtships and reproductive success. Birds have feather with certain favorable coloration, which help them in mating. Cows have panoramic vision views. When they bend down to gas, this panoramic vision allows them to detect predators that approach from all directions, as well as search for crops, which contribute to their survival. Dragonflies has evolutionary advantages for their survival, as they use stereoscopic vision while hunting to estimate their distance from prey. Their sharp eyesight also helps them avoid predation.